primary hypertension has become common in the pediatric population due to the obesity epidemic. Will we have a generation of uh, young uh, old people? Well, that, that is a possibility. It's an interesting, actually, question. Um, I, I, I think... Okay, let me put it this way. In this world, in the history of the humankind, the f old generation always worries about the young generation. But there is always progress. So I do believe that yes, they will be um, obese and they will have a problem, but I have no doubt that they will resolve it and there will still continue to be a problem, uh, a progress. As I say, when I <coughs> look at my children, they're very different than me. Uh, I don't like some of the things, but their generation is making progress. So let's hope that this one is also going to do. But yes, there is a tendency for overweight and uh, uh, we, let's just hope that they will work it out. And what are the differences uh, in young and old people in the etiology of hypertension? Well, the etiology is clearly for about 30 to 40 percent of all patients with early hypertension, there is clearly an increased sympathetic tone which comes from the brain. We know that because it's not only increased sympathetic, it's also decreased parasympathetic tone, and uh, this <coughs> is typical for the brain, that when sympathetic tone goes up, the parasympathetic tone goes in opposite direction. So it is a big group. Now it was worried in the beginning that this big group, about 30% to 40 depending, uh, various studies that they are only nervous and they will never develop hypertension. That's absolutely wrong. There's been a lot of evidence which I will discuss that these people do develop established hypertension. Now, there is a problem because <coughs> in this uh, phase, there is an increase of cardiac output uh, that is increasing the bl blood pressure. But in majority of patients with established hypertension, there's increased vascular resistance. So we need to explain <coughs> how this goes. There has to be a hemodynamic transition from high cardiac output to high vascular resistance. And in my lecture, I'm going to explain this. I think there's good data to explain why and with which mechanism does this happen, this hemodynamic transition. And then I will also discuss a little bit of a phenomenon that we know that there seems to be less sympathetic tone when they get this increased vascular resistance and will explain how we believe that this is a, a normal response um, and that in fact though the sympathetic tone is decreasing it still is regulating the blood pressure so uh, the story will be one of, you know, this is a dynamic process, an interesting process that starts <coughs> with high cardiac output, ends up with high vascular resistance, but it also is not all of the hypertension, 30 to 40 percent. There are many other types of hypertension, and whether they go through the similar process, we don't know.